welcome into a Sunday sermon. Every Sunday we read from uh, Scripture. Uh, right now I'm drinking some uh, a morning hot, hot water, you know, hot water lemon with uh, uh, cayenne pepper. I love cayenne pepper. And then I usually don't do tea, but I do. There, there's a uh, a uh, this is a ginger turmeric tea. So, you know, that's what I'm drinking. Because mm. every morning I do a uh, a reading from the uh, the New Testament of the Gullah culture. Um, and while that's doing, uh, the hot water is boiling and whatever it is. And then, and then afterwards, then I, I, I drink that more, you know, hot water, lemon, and cayenne pepper. Um, and, but for the Sunday, for the Sunday sermons, which is a Sunday, Sunday right now, I mean, I do the, the Gullah readings every day. Um, but the Sunday sermons, this is, uh, oh, that's just to, uh, not just, I'm sorry. That's to, for me to, how do you say, um, uh, understand the Gullah culture and what they went through, what we went through, because I'm in that lineage, what they, we went through when we was freed. And it's a whole thing I'm doing with my, it's an exercise. Don't worry about that part. Um, but right now, but every Sunday, I read from my scripture, scripture. This is scripture. I just missed Neely Fuller Jr. This is the, well, the cover of the first edition of his, his book. He said, what's the cover? No, it's the first edition, the way, it, I'm sorry, it's the, the first edition of this of this book, which was in uh, 1984, I hope that's right, 1984. I have the original one, and it's, a, it's, it's like a bigger format, right? And so, you know, when he when he revised the book in uh, 2016, then he just revised his different cover and everything. But people said, "But we want the original one." And he don't understand why, so he put they so they put out the original one. It's a little bit different. The other one's revised, right? But here's what I say, what he doesn't understand. First of all, it's a boogie format. And it's just a, I don't know, it's a feeling that you get when the original one. Oh, and, oh, I'm sorry, in the original one also, because he, I think it's 2010, he put out a separate a book, a word guide. Uh, because he, when he wrote the book, he, he the word guide was taking up so much thing that he didn't put a lot of words. And he has some words in here, we're going to read the scripture there. But uh, it was not enough words, they had to do another volume and so the both the volumes the, both the new revised and the and the word guy are, are bigger volumes but he couldn't put it into one book and that's what he wanted to do but this is the first book and uh um oh gosh i better put my glasses this will be this will work out uh, and i'll tell you it's things later later uh but this oh here we go copyright well he he produced this book he was producing he's been working on a book from 1957 to 1980 and then the then uh, uh, then he has something on copyright nineteen sixty nine and copyright nineteen seventy two, um, the revised copyright nineteen well, uh, revised copyright nineteen seventy four was nineteen seventy two, revised copyright nineteen seventy six, and then the revised copyright, and it would be this edition, to be nineteen eighty four. So that's the one the book that came out, um, and and of course it's oh okay the United Independent Compensatory Code System concept is the name of the book. And uh, and it says, note, this textbook workbook has been copyrighted. And there's no part, blah, 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 okay? But it's a textbook workbook for thought, speech, and or action um, for victims of racism, white supremacy, which is white supremacy. Now, if you're not a victim of racism, white supremacy, then obviously this is not a textbook workbook for you, so uh, don't deal with it. <laughs> um, and he it, it, it has this thing, he always put this... Thing. And the other book has a big thing. It says, uh, if you do not understand white supremacy, and then uh, in brackets, racism, that uh, what it is and how it works, everything else that you understand will only confuse you. And that's Mr. Neely Fuller Jr. wrote that in 1971. He uses that, a little tiny resource thing of that. So now we are, I'm going to, um, oh, so I should say this. There are, I guess it, there are, there are what he calls the uh, nine areas of uh, human activity. There would be uh, economics, education, uh, entertainment, uh, labor, law, uh, politics. Uh, oh, oh, politics is very long. Sorry about that. Uh, well, I know what it is. Uh, 
uh, uh, uh, uh, religion, uh, sex, and war, counter war. Now he, uh, Mr. Neely Field Jr. is on the internet. Uh, there's a podcast, what do you call it? Uh, uh, a transmission every Tuesday and on East Coast time, I guess it's from uh, 9 to 9 to 11, something like that. And that uh, is with on uh, with Mr. Bobby, and and he he's like ninety two something like he is ninety three whatever it is years old, and he uh yeah, ninety two I think, and so he talks very lucid. Ooh, you know he like I I love listening to Miss Neely Fuller Jr. I mean he's I can't explain it. It's just a he my preacher. I should not say that. He won't consider that. No, no, no. He's like very humble. So low to the ground because it's not about him. It's about the work. It's about the thought, speech, and action. Anyway, so this book has that. But we, but uh, he doesn't deal with the war counter war on the air because it's war counter war. Get it? Um, and then in this book, he has what's called a uh, supplemental reference from two year. No, is that supplemental statement of conclusion transition? What is this? What page am I going to... Oh, then there's this whole, gee, gee, that was interesting, 247, just a second, just a second, 247, 247, wow, uh, anyway, oh, I see, 247, all right, then there's, there's the book, and then he has, uh, stop cursing, uh, what is this, A, B, oh, here it is, sorry, 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 I didn't, I never deal with this, the back of the book here like this, A, 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 a supplement, like, oh, supplemental reference. And uh, that's the reference. But then he has this thing. I guess it's, it was when he started working, it was a word guide. So he starts from A and he word guides it goes through. So today we're going to deal with uh, G or parts of G. Just a second. By the way, in the morning, you really should have hot water and lemon. Hey, you know, cuts through your system. Hey, oh, I forgot to say, no sugar, no sweets, nothing like that. Would change your uh, appetite. I mean, change your, will change something. You can get rid of that that salt and that sugar addiction and, and then taste food for real, but then you'd have to have real food to taste. That's a problem. Anyway. Hmm. <clears throat> okay. So there, I'm going to read this good. I'm going to read these three things. It's a, a, a good person, right? Good speaker and good white person. Interesting, huh? So let's read it. Uh, good person, one. A person who knows and understands truth and who uses truth in such a manner as to produce justice and correctness at all times, in all places, in all areas of activity throughout the known and unknown universe. To those activities, those nine activities that we were talking about earlier, right? What is the old area? Number two, under good person. A person who knows, that's in quotes, and understands nothing. Let us repeat that. A person who knows and understands nothing. I'm not going to interpret that. Y'all can do that one. <laughs> Good, then next one is good speaker. A person who has, who has spoken truth in such a manner that justice and correctness in all areas of activity, that's in brackets, throughout the universe, once again, is the result. So I'm going to read about the brackets. A good person is a, a person who has spoken truth and and um, oh, what is it? A good person is a, what am I doing? Uh, I'm sorry, this is a good, I did the good person, I'm sorry, back. this is a good speaker. A good speaker, a person who has spoken truth in such a manner that justice and correctness is the result. Okay, last uh, thing in this section, just the goods. It's a good white person. A good white person is a person classified as white and or Caucasian, let me edit, let me go one time, who does not practice racism at any time, in any place, in any area of activity, and who also uses truth in such a manner as to produce justice 
and correctness at all times, in all places, in all areas of activity throughout the known universe. Concise, isn't it? In fact, you see, in Sunday sermon, I take some time. I suppose to, you know, to be like, be like a, be like a, I guess a preacher or something like that, and, and say stuff. But this is so clear, and Neely, Mr. Neely Fool Jr. is always so clear that, hey, it's not necessary. <laughs> oh, by the way, you can get the books, the volumes, at uh, the, the the website producejustice.com. P r o d u c e j u s t i c e dot c o m. And um, get it. I mean, I got copies all over the place. You know, that this is this actually this copy I had uh, uh, gifted, gifted, whatever, to uh, uh, Professor James Conyer. Some of you know, some of you don't know. You don't need to know. <laughs> See right there, he's got his name right there. I borrowed it because uh, I left my. I mean, I got some books in Virginia. I got books in Africa. I have books all over the place, and so. But I'm here in Brooklyn. I didn't have anything here, so I uh, so so I'm in New York. So I, I said, "Hey, buddy, I need the book." You know, so he uh, he gave me the book. I got to return it today, because you know he like most of us. You know, you do not borrow books. If you borrow them, he stay on it to to we get it back. Because you know how people like to whatever it is. Okay, so that's oh, I wanted to tell you one more thing. Um, every time I go someplace else, my set my 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 set changes. You know, uh, this is the we're here. We're down here in Brooklyn. This is the set I have here, and uh, you know here is my warrior. It's my last name. Uh, I'm a warrior three. July third is my birthday, which basically means I'm I talk a lot about And then that's the uh, uh, the American liberated Black American liberation flag, because you know the, the red, black, and green flag is actually the liberated uh, Pan African liberation flag. So this was created by an artist, uh, uh, African American artist. I have to check his lineage up. I think his name is David Hammonds. H A M M O N S is the last. Oh, look it up. It's online. Whatever. And over here, over here my, my symbol. I have um, I have my own uh, private symbol. I shouldn't say private. Uh, symbol. It's a it's a from West Africa, um, from uh, from the Akan culture uh, uh, in West Africa. And it's a symbol. It's called well the American translation or the English translation is wisdom now. So so I'm. It's going to be my symbol. I use on a lot of stuff, put on a lot of stuff. Wisdom that. Oh, in the Akan, I guess, language, with, I think it says, um, uh, Yansapo. Yansapo, I forget how you pronounce it. Usually in Africa, well, I live in South Africa. They don't, the N or the M's, they put, it's sort of, you sort of, you, you work with it. So anyway, I don't really know how to say it in, in Akan. I got to talk to some Akan speaker and figure out how you actually pronounce it, but it means wisdom that. Uh, so this is my set here. And uh, well, right now I'm wearing a T-shirt. This is my wall. Anyway, got to free black people. It's a, it's a picture I took a long, 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 like 35 years ago, something like that. And um, every morning when I do the um, the Gullah readings, right, the Gullah readings, then uh, I use this hat as an ecumenical, ecumenical hat. So it looks like this, you know, I wear it like that. Every Sunday I break all the stuff down like that. But um, eh, But, you know, it's my old goon cap, which I won't say anything right now. But for these, I think I'm gonna start doing it like this, because it's my it's my Ogun cap. Ogun is uh, Ogun's colors in North America is um, is red, black, and well, green, black, and a bit of red. So this is black right here on the other side is green, and and then then you have the red. <sighs> Don't worry about that point. You look someplace on the channel. I explain everything as usual, right? So that's uh. I think that's it hmm. for the Sunday, spring, Sunday morning. Um, and we'll talk to you another time, okay? Uh, we'll, we'll, well, we'll basically me, T, from the Pattersons, taking the train to Tibet, letting you know what I only suspect.